In this example, we're going to solve this system with three equations and three unknown values, and the first step we're going to use is elimination. So it seems to me like automatically these c's are going to be a great candidate for elimination because all the coefficients are 2, and 2 of them are positive, and 1 of them is negative. So it looks like I could use elimination on the first two and just straight up add them together, and then on the last two, once again, uh, just straight up add them together, which means I don't need to use a multiplier or anything to get them to be equal in number. Okay, so since that's the case, let's go ahead and get started. Let's add these first two equations together. So 7a minus 2a is 5a, and negative 2b plus 5b is plus 3b. My c's cancel, and that gives me negative 11 when I add up the negative 5 and negative 6. Okay, let's go ahead and do the same thing for the second two equations. Once again, I see that my c's will cancel out. So negative 2a and negative 3a make negative 5a. And 5b minus 8b makes a negative 3b. And negative 6 plus 17 is a positive 11. Well, something interesting has happened here. It looks like when I put these equations together, of the first uh, two and the last two, it created equations that looked a lot alike. So when I add these two equations, my a's will cancel, my b's will cancel, and my constants will cancel. So I'm left with the true statement, 0 equals 0. So I know that from past experience, uh, whenever all my variables cancel out, and I'm left with a true statement like this, 0 equals 0, I know that this system will have infinite solutions.